G'day and welcome back to Timber Kings. As you can see, things have been going fairly well for Zach. His lumber business has really started to take off and he's making a good profit. He's able to undercut the southern sawmill by quite a bit uh, due to the fact that he owns a whole production chain. Oh, and it's a little chilly out today. So let's fix that. I think it's time for a warmer coat. And that looks like it's about as good as it gets for heavy duty pants. Ah. The only problem right now is this winter storm or the winter storms that have been blowing through the area recently are threatening his supply chain a little bit. Mainly because, well, there's more snow forecast and if it gets much deeper he's going to have trouble getting his vehicles through. He almost got his Mack truck stuck the other day picking up a load of lumber. And like I said, if things get much deeper, then he's in real trouble. So he struck a deal with the local dealership, no pun intended. And he has picked up some winter snow fighting equipment. We just need a little bit of salt to go in the back. Uh, two should be enough for now. We can always buy more if we need it. The good thing about road salt is it's cheap. Now this isn't necessarily just a problem for Zach. It's a problem for anyone in the Pacific Northwest. The good thing is the local municipality has been doing a pretty good job of keeping the roads clean. Problem is some of the local businesses nah, are not quite so good and need a little bit of help. Including his own productions. All right, for those of you following the series, you might say, but Zach already has a tractor. Why does he need another one? Well, this is going to be his snow fighting equipment. As well as his farming equipment, or his basic farming equipment for... his sheep and other animals. Now I do, on a personal note, I do like this snowblower. The only problem is um, it doesn't have a speed limiter on it like the one in the base game. So it will go as fast as you want it to go. Um, problem is, if you go too fast, it misses spots. And 
we'll just do that last little bit and then we'll go around the side Nah. Looks like it's already got that part. The thing that surprises me a little bit about this game is... Giants spend a lot of time putting snow into the game. Um... In terms of snow removal though, um, I find personally the game is lacking a little bit. Now I don't know whether they didn't really focus on snow fighting because they were worried a lot of people aren't really into that. But this is after all the Pacific Northwest. It's not like Europe where it snows for a day or two and then it melts. thing we want to make sure of is that we have enough room to be able to pick up pick up those pallets of metal when the time comes and we don't want to get buried And unfortunately, salt doesn't do too much once it's above a certain level. I did try out a snowplow blade or two, and unfortunately, they are not nearly as effective as a snowplow. All right, let me get this done and the boatyard done. Um, as time is already flying by, wow. And we have a lot to do. So I will see you up at the northern, well, at Zach Sawmill. All right, see you in a minute. All right, here we are. The problem with the northern mill is that, yeah, this front area, if you let the snow build up too much, uh, not only do you have trouble getting your trailer in there to be able to haul out the product from the mill, um, the Manitou or the various other forklifts are definitely not very snow friendly. And then there's the issue. Fortunately, we have quite a decent pile of logs sitting in the lake ready to be processed. But with all this, I'll show you in a second, with all the snow that's around there, Um, it's definitely not the easiest to back a trailer full of logs into there. As you probably know, trailers don't have the best physics handling in the game in the first place. So. Why give the game an opportunity to oh 
how do I put this politely? Make things worse. I'm not too worried about salt. Like I said, it's dirt cheap. Put a little bit of salt down. Help grit the road for when the next snow, well... I won't say for when the next snow falls. It's, according to the forecast, going to snow right through for a little bit. So... The other thing I find a little bit frustrating is these roadways, like this one here. I tried snow blowing it. Um, now the snow is not very deep here, but you can't clear it. Yet the ca cars seem to get through no problem. I'm just going to park this here for today. I like the snowblower. It's really, really handy. Um, but going back to what we were talking about, yeah. Hopefully I don't have to for the next little while, but backing a track when this gets deep backing a trailer or a tractor trailer down into the lake is going to be difficult all right let's head back to the main farm and we will see what needs to be done next now the snow removal is taken care of well, the next job was to get loaded. Oh dear, that, no, that's not good. That was working, but I guess I found one that was a little too heavy. There we go. At 21. I'm going to leave it at 21. Hmm. So the skid steer may not be the best device for this. I might actually have to upgrade and get a bigger piece of equipment. We'll pick up those smaller ones. No problem. It's when you get to the It's when you get to these bigger ones here, the ones that weigh almost 900 kilograms, that that's when it becomes a problem. The other problem we have is for some reason, my containers are not sitting pretty. And when I pulled in here, uh, like I kind of figured it would, with the snow, the truck did a power slide. And it's not wanting to turn, 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 turn. Yeah, it's a known bug, the way the trucks do that. I might be stuck. All right, let me figure out what's going on here and uh, we will see you in a minute. Well, we made it to the container warehouse. Uh, God only knows how. I don't know if you can tell from this angle, but it'll, the truck's still sliding. Um, 
For some reason, my second container wouldn't actually snap to the transport trailer. I actually have to use the, the straps to hold it down. Because every time I took a corner, it would fly off. So hopefully it sells properly. Um, yep, no, it sold okay. So, well, that's good. I, uh, like I said, if anyone out there has any idea as to why uh, it would be doing that, please let me know. And I guess we will position ourselves to be able to pick up the products tomorrow. From the lumber, uh, from the sawmill. And most of them we have a need or a use for this time. So the money train might just be metal. We'll leave that there. There's another reason, um, I'm just gonna hop back here that I need to pick up these logs, not specifically those ones. Um, but this is kind of what happened. So I harvested logs and I left them. And then the tree went from sprout stage to first growth stage and sprung up amongst the logs. Like, if you look at that one, it's pretty much, yeah. So I'm gonna grab my logging truck. I'm going to load up best I can. Again, hopefully I don't slide all over the place. Um, but winter definitely doesn't seem very friendly. We need chains on the tires like they would have in real life. Well, that was a real treat trying to turn this around um, in the snow. I think I kind of overloaded it a little bit, but that's okay. I'll just have to make sure I drive slowly and carefully. I do have an idea, and it involves one more container. Because um, I got plenty of lumber to put into containers. So I am going to use the truck. Take these off for now. somewhere safe we can load them tomorrow I think this is gonna be a slightly longer episode than I planned partly because snow removal took longer than I thought it would okay so let me get another container loaded up and sold and then I will show you my plan double the amount of wood we usually get. Alrighty, this one is mainly spruce, so I don't think it's going to sell for nearly as much as the other two did. Yeah, about 10,000 less, but oh well. that well maybe I do want to go that way yeah well maybe I don't I'm gonna leave this 
parked up here for now. Just because that way is convenient. And I know where to find it. And I am going to grab my trailer load of logs. We have 693,000. Um, I think it's time to invest in a second sawmill. So I will see you over at the second sawmill. Because that's really going to help with our productions. And there's really something to be said for getting to know the map. Um, there are different routes I've noticed you can take that have different grades to them. And I thought I would take the shortest route. But it had the steepest grade. So I was, well, as you can see, I was slowed right down below 10 miles an hour trying to get up that hill. It's the same with going to and from the, um, oh, there we go, slide, no, don't, don't, okay. It's the same with going to and from the uh, iron mine. There's an easy grade and there's a hard grade. So let's see how much lumber this will take. Turn to sales and then purchase. Gonna do that trick again. Took it all. I can't remember how much it had programmed into it. Yes, we want to buy it. How much do we? Oh, uh, too late. I forgot to check. Wow. Okay. That being said and done, we will deliver another load tomorrow. And I think that's it for today. Well, not today, today, today in game. Now, just to show you what I mean, um, as far as coming to and from the ore mine, if you take the typical standard route down to this road here, and then you take this road here, it's fairly level. If you take this road up here, the grade really climbs before it starts to decrease again. So, even though it doesn't look like it's that much longer because your vehicle will get slowed down quite a lot you're gonna end up uh, really being weighed down welcome to february and it's still snowing it doesn't look like it wants to stop in fact i just checked the weather forecast and it doesn't want to stop So, time to do a little bit more snow removal. And we're all if you're familiar with the snow le stages or levels, we're definitely at the second level now, which means it's really hard to get through. The nice thing is, I have a ton of product to deliver. If I 
can't load it, it's not going to be the easiest thing to do. So you saw me do this yesterday, you probably don't need to see me do snow removal two days in a row. Even though snow removal is fun. All right, I'll be back. Boy, we got a full load. Do you think she's mad that I'm blocking the sidewalk? Ah, who cares? Let's do a U-turn and we'll head to... Eh, everything's top top. We'll head to the roller coaster first, see what that needs. And then this will, the rest of this will go to the boatyard, depending on what that needs. I think I'm going to turn off bowl production because, well, I think that production is a shared production, which means it divides its total output by three. So we'll deactivate that, and we'll deactivate that. I have, a, like I said, I have a feeling that um, it'll produce more than it needs. Okay, so we need staircase railings, which I only have a few of, because again, it was a shared production. Staircase railings. I don't think the boat. Uh, I need 4,000. No, okay, no, no, I've got enough staircase railings. But I'll see if it'll take one more because I know it's going to need it for the next production. We got plenty of floor tiles. Metal, we got plenty of planks long. And I know I have more planks long at the northern sawmill. Alright, I think we're good here. The rest could go to the boatyard. I don't think I didn't really, well, I mean, it's handy, but I'm starting to think I didn't really need that second, uh, that second sawmill, but oh well. Oh, I haven't been here and plowed yet. I hope I don't get stuck. Okay, so what do we need? We need planks, planks long. No, planks long and definitely needed. Just a couple though.
would be it's okay out yeah, we have plenty of those coming in and I think we're gonna be selling a lot of planks to Elm Creek floor tiles does this need floor tiles yes it does and it doesn't have any in storage I don't really want to rush the boat yard because I think that's where um, uh, we're going to be waiting for fabric. But oh well. So I will grab uh, a metal. I'm going to load everything I don't need onto the train, and we will see what the train brings in today. Alrighty then. This is the train load we have today. It's quite loaded down. Let's see what it's going to bring in. Any guesses? And then the next question is, do we upgrade our machinery or do we buy some new productions? We don't have that much wool yet, so the, there's no point buying the spinnery yet. Maybe when we have two pallets worth of wool, it will be worth buying the spinnery. But the boat production is quite a bit behind the roller coaster. I'm guessing 200,000. 300,000. Wow, I was way off. Okay, we have a million dollars now. So, ha. <coughs> there is plenty we can do. And hopefully by next month, March, the weather forecast looking a little bit better. We won't have to contend with all this snow. So let me do a... I'm going to do a between now and then I'm going to do a quick roundup and uh, gather up any missing materials that's lying around. Take care and thank you for watching.